and welcome to another video. In this video, I have this iPhone 11 that my client sent to me. And he says sometimes the phone is just restarting, okay? The problem with this phone is we don't have like a, a really uh, time in this phone to restart. Sometimes you start in four minutes, sometimes you start in an hour and a day. When my customer bring this phone to me, I, I try to open the phone with the uh, with the password and I just put the password and the phone and start to restart. And right now it's working fine. But I have this phone with me for like a day over there and I can see is good looking all the time but like I say this phone sometimes is just working normally right okay so the problem in this phone my customer say he bring this phone to another shop to upgrade the memory and uh, when they do this the phone is starting to uh, this problem right so I'm going to connect this phone to my uh, computer and I'm going to open three Three U tool, okay? Three U tool. Okay, so if you can see right here, says uh, we have 45 times restarting crash analytics. And when we click on details, we are going to see the crash analytics, okay? We can use, uh, for example, click right here, and we can see this phone have AMS2, okay? This is the, the panic string. And then we have this AP, AP, PCIA. So we have the, this one and this one, okay? When we just copy this one, and we can just open uh, this software, this software called uh, panicful.com, we can use, um, we can use paste right here, the crash analytic, and then click to analyze, okay? And we can see this one told me can be the NAND, can be software, or can be the CPU. Also, remember the, the JC drawing have a, um, a section right here that says crash, okay? I'm in iPhone 11 and then I'm going to go to crash. And if you can see right here is crash record 45 times. And if I click right here, this one is you say crash crash description hard disk repair experience detect hard disk and related circuits number two rewrite the underlying data of the hard disk or replace the hard disk this one is talking about about the NAND okay and if we can see all the crash analytics all the crash say the same thing okay remember in this phone can be two things. Someone already did the, uh, the NAND, they replaced the NAND. So I'm going to check because I, I'm still don't open this phone. I'm going to check the NAND. I already did a backup for this phone. I'm going to check the NAND. If I see the NAND is good, I'm just going to take it out and I'm going to put another one. And we had to test this phone for at least one day. Okay, so this is the first thing. And remember, the NAND had to have communication with the CPU. Okay. And to have this communication, they now have uh, some lines. These lines are uh, this one, the PC AI uh, bus, okay? So we always have to have uh, the TX and the RX lines from the PC AI IP to NAND, okay? These lines uh, always come with these capacitors, okay? These capacitors are in serial. So we had to check this capacitor because if this capacitor are new or some of them are loose, so we are going to have this problem. So we had to check the NAND, but also we had to check these capacitors, okay? So I'm going to open this phone and see what's wrong. And if I can see everything good, I'm going to tell you, I'm just going to replace the NAND and show you the process, okay? So, manos a la obra. Okay, so I have the model right here. And I'm going to check uh, this one, right? So if we can see it's just missing one capacitor in there, but that one is done uh, probably for uh, this phone to have this first start. And remember the capacitors that I told you about the PCR lines? So this one are coming inside from this uh, shell right here, okay? So I can see this phone is not like a, um, like someone did a really bad job, so I'm just thinking maybe it's just a problem for the NAM. So I'm just going to replace the NAM, I'm going to put an on one, and then I'm going to uh, pass the, um, the software and 
put everything back and we have to test this phone for at least one day, okay? So I'm just going to replace the analytics to show you the, the process. First of all, remember this is going to already someone um, removed the NAM, so it's going to be easy to uh, remove it, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to use the P13 to copy the information with the NAM, okay? And I'm going to paste this information uh, to the non NAM, okay? So I'm going to open this over, I'm going to come here and select uh, P13, and then I'm going to, okay, so we're there we have all the information, so now I'm going to click and back up. Okay, so now I have this backup already in my computer. I'm going to uh, put the log, the mother and map, put format. Now that is format, I'm going to uh, click and if we can see we don't have any information right now, so I'm going to open the restore and I'm going to uh, put the restore the, the one already saved. Okay, so that's it. I have now the information in this now, so I'm just going to put it back and restore this point. And then I'm going to tell you what's next. Remember, I'm using this uh, stencil from Ibuzi. Okay, that's my brand. If you want to support my my channel and everything, you can buy it from WeFixUSA.com. Okay guys, so I have this phone already. I put the software and if you can see, I already activated with the iCloud because my customer gave me the iCloud. So in this phone, I can't do anything more. I just have to test this phone for at least one or two days and then come back with you guys and just tell you uh, if this phone was working or not, right? So I'm going to cut this video right here and I'm going to uh, make this video two days later and see what happened with this one, okay? So stay tuned.